So, there are still men talking about 50-50 in the household. Half the bills paid by you, half the bills paid by her. See, I still doing 50-50? It's hard out here. It's hard out here. I understand. Trust. But I thought men are providers that they're supposed to pay the bills in the house. Maybe I'm different. I don't know. What's up, YouTube? This your boy, James, to the O. What if you can't afford to pay all the bills in the house and you live in the house with a the woman? Then what? Question. If you can't pay all the bills in the house and you're living by yourself, how can you pay all the bills in the house and a woman's living with you? Now, that's the question that should be asked. I can't afford to live here by myself, but I'm going to have a woman move in with me so she can help me out. Huh? My whole thing is this. Maybe I'm different. If you disagree, comment down below. I don't mind. Look. You have you a place, house, apartment, whatever it is. You living by yourself. It's just you. You should be able to afford your own cost of living by yourself, just you alone. Now, add a woman to the equation. Okay, your lights, water, gas bill going to go up some. The mortgage rent still the same. It's still the same. The little utility bills, okay. You already got a cable TV in your house. Okay, she using it. It ain't going to cost you more. It's going to be the same. She use your Wi-Fi in the house. Okay, it's still the same. So it's going to cost you a bit more. Just a bit more. You can't afford that? Give me a break. Look, I tell people, women seek financial stability. I understand you can't pay every single thing in and out the house, but what you can do is pay all the bills in the house. And what she do with her money, she can get her nails done, her feet done. Nails, hair, feet, clothes. Okay, put groceries in the house since you want to contribute in the house. Go ahead, go grocery shopping. A man's money and a woman's money, they don't spend the same. Yes, money is money. Got it. But the way they use the money, it's not the same. The last thing a woman want to do is pay bills. That's the last thing they want to do. Especially they live in a house with a man. And they say that men are providers. I look at it like this. You're not a fully provider. She will look at you as you're a contributor. She's helping you out. Okay, she's being a helpmate. That's cool. I commend her for that. She can be a helpmate in other ways for me. Other than bills in the house. Financial. Financial stability, you safe, you secure, all that, you have somewhere to stay. You have somewhere to go, come home to. You ain't got to worry about it. First of the month come, you sleeping real good because you know I ain't got to pay no bills. I live for free. He got it all covered. No problem. Fellas, pay the cost to be the boss. Head of household, you in charge, you the leader, you the provider. Yeah. You pay the cost to be the boss. Pay it all. It ain't going to hurt you. It ain't going to hurt. Okay, now you have a kid. So now you got to provide for the kid to pampers, diapers, this, that, whatever, formula, all that other stuff. Okay, it's going to cost you a little extra. Okay, well, that's why you have a side hustle or you have to go back to school and get a college degree or something and be in a work field that help you make more money as the economy keep going up. I understand the difficulty part, but as the economy is getting harder, that means wherever job you have is not paying you enough. You're going to have to find another job that's going to pay you more where if you like that job or not. That is what it is. Go, plenty of guys I know going back to school. Bachelor's degree to master's. They worth 15, 20 hours more per hour now. Now they go back up, out there to the work field and boom, apply themselves, didn't get that kind of money so they could do what? Provide. Because when you, I saw a video of Gabrielle Union freaking out. Oh, 50 50. Huh? My husband said, I got to go 50 50. So what if I don't have my other half? What if this happened? What if, what if I lose my job? What if I don't get called for anything? What if she freaked out? And that's how a lot of women are. They freak out. One woman told me, she said, wait, I got to go 50-50. So you mean to tell me if I can't come with my half, you're going to kick me out? 
They don't feel safe. They don't feel secure. You sabotage a woman's seeking of financial stability. You just sabotage that completely. Yes, they seek that. That's why I say a man's money and a woman's money don't spend the same. The last thing she wants to do is pay bills in the house. I'm just saying. 50-50, I don't recommend it. But if you do it and it works out for you, fine. Because I know a lot of Hispanic women, particularly Mexican women. I have yet to hear a Mexican woman not say, oh, it's 50-50. Because they all believe in 50-50. 50-50, you, you pay your half, I pay my half. You do chores this day, I do chores that day, this, that, da, da, da. Oh, okay. Well, if it works out, work it out. I don't discriminate. But me personally, I don't recommend it. Because it kind of takes away your leverage as the man. You the, you a man in a house instead of the man of the house. Head of household, protector, provider, leader. It's supposed to be all that. Just saying. But yeah. What you think? Comment down below. I'll be more happy to read your comments. Like, comment, share, subscribe to this video, and tell me what you think about this 50-50 relationship between man and woman.